Carol Sentile, the grandmother of the baby, spoke of how things unfolded. My daughter went out to Grenada to make her child because I know she used to have pressure problem. So she went down to Grenada and the pain come on down there and she ended up making the child. When she made the child, the child had a twist intestine. Well, she said she signed because you know it's young people, she ain't no much and it's your first child. But if it was me, I would have think different and, and say different words. She signed for them to fix the intestine. They operated the first time, they operated the second time, and it still wasn't successful. One of the doctors tell me, when they fix the intestine, it stretch and it bust. So they didn't say anything about the next time, but um, the child was there functioning proper. Functioning proper, but I know what's going to happen in the end up because I tell myself it's a job bad because she still couldn't eat and she still couldn't gain as she wanted to gain what she have to gain. So she was on drips. They said she take a little milk. We buy her expensive milk, take a little milk, which was very progressing. And then you know by the pet less a little low and um, the red blood cells was perfect as they say. But after a time, I find by taking blood, taking blood, well, they know what they're doing this blood thing about. And she gets weak. Every part of the blood gone funny, so you expect that. But afterwards, she start going low, low. We gave her blood, and I see to myself, she won't make it, but I just couldn't say anything to my data. I try to keep my data calm and try to be on the other side order to brace she up and have it going. Hey, hey. The doctor call, she doctor tell her the child get infected. Because you know she can't fight bacteria and she can't fight nothing and she kinda weak and because the intestine didn't fix and you know what's gonna happen at the end of up. The doctor say you're gonna give the child some strong antibiotic. Antibiotic is a killer. Doctor should know the height of antibi antibiotic some places that don't use antibiotic. Antibiotic might for some heavy heart beast, you know. And um, I say antibiotic. That's a killer. It does dig and it does damage. And you have your docile. The child now there, the child was whole a month and a week, the child living you now. The child was there, docile. Every time we go winky, winky, winky eye, winky ankles close down the eye. Not one day I see a good little, nothing much about the child. Why? The child was under hard jurisdiction pain, which I see and I know. When I go up to the height, I see the gods, and I, I know what's going on, but I can't talk things to my daughter. But anyway, after all, the child started to get weak. She started to get weak. We buy a little milk, we take a little, we get back to the whole pan of milk, because she couldn't really think with the intestine problem. After all, she started to go low. She started to go low. They call and they say, on the machine giving up, machine this, machine that. But before that, they said they're going to try Barbados and America. We went back there. Take out picture for the child, everything, heading for Barbados, saying, they say Barbados turned them But I believe that is a lie, a total lie. Barbados could have never done nothing to this child. Barbados wouldn't refuse to get this damage to, to fix up. Eh? It's, it's, a, it's a real terrible damage. Bad work. So they say Barbados refused them. And one doctor telling me, oh, if you had insurance, you would have flight with the child. When they say they will get help from the government, and then we'll go get things fixed up and go. Eh, eh. I say Barbados refused. America refused. So I went back the other day talking money talk now. Because the child father sells. And we ain't so all that badly have the family on all sides and so all that badly have to save a life. Even though we have to pay back. When I go and I talking now about is there a way this child could get out still? The lady doctor tell me. I know all of them name you know. Um, hmm. You know. I said, well, why American Barbados refuse? Because they have too much in hand. A big place like American Barbados. Too much in hand. I had this in my brains, mm -mm 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 -mm, but I can't talk around my daughter and consult her about that. You see, um, she was about Trinidad. The doctor tell me, oh, you know, Miss sent so much an instrument, and we got to travel with this child. And Trinidad, US, 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 and us have no problem to do with she. I say, oh, poor little Olivi. That's it. It's just a matter of time. So the machine giving up now on her the day, and then she start going to one doctor have a woman with that thing. I mean, they said them doctor and them so hypocrite and nasty. I said, why is that? Oh, the child is breathing now by the hands of the, and the help of a nurse. 
What's so important? Them time they Jesus was at the door to meet my baby. You see how she's suffering. The child suffer every day. They're going and dress and doing thing. Antibiotic. Itchy out more than anything else. Look at the damage of the child. I mean to say, look at the damage of the child in ICU. A little political infant been operated on twice plus. Antibiotic. Sleeping away. Antibiotic to heal and kill. And the next little tube or something they use. What going to have? Antibiotic for a little baby like that. I mean, this is total nonsense. I can't live with this thing. It's very terrifying. Tell me. Nobody in authority to do better than that. Is antibiotic alone killing out all them people in Grenada? How many children are looking like right on this basic? And how many big people? Nonsense, man. I'm sick. Miss Santilla says she is hoping to talk with someone in authority. She is also hoping for better health care. Well, I need somebody to, to, to talk to me or some kind of reason or some kind of... Nobody tell me nothing. Nobody, you know what I mean? Somebody in authority or some kind of health system business either have to try to i don't know i don't know they can't tell me to console me they're going to talk for grenada i want them to really talk for grenada and i want grenada to really get some kind of better satisfaction and better health care because to the point about it who next shall go in the icu who who next who next who next who next, who next? that is to show when people see my baby picture they're going to see how people is dying out in grenada this was a bacteria this was not wound a total bacteria Turning into grand grand. I did rather my child die, grandchild die, with her pats on. All she navel and belly pat eat out going out to she son. Nonsense, Grenada. According to Miss Santile, her granddaughters, whose name was given as Olivia Rosie Denzelia McFarlane, will be laid to rest on Thursday, October 26th.